every point is crucial. It's a heavy defensive game. You know, so you're going to take that three. You're going to take guaranteed points. You're not going to pass it up. And you can go back and look at Kill first drive, and it's just who he's been since he's been in Madden. He's not going to make mistakes. He had a few guys open. Chose to throw the ball away. He's not going to beat himself. He's going to make you beat him. There's that free form passing. Oh, it's Paul oh, up and down field. Yeah. Nothing but green grass in front of him. That boy with a touchdown. Deep play for deep. In this video, we're going to show you how to do that in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. Welcome to the channel. Wanted to do a quick tip on Dat Boy's man glitch out of Trips Tight End. It's not really a man glitch, but it is something that I did want to cover because this is definitely a dominant meta that you are seeing online. You're seeing a lot of dollar three two six. If you want to glitch man defense out of dollar three two six, this is the video for you. Now, if you guys uh, are in my Patreon, you know that I love Trips Tight End. I think Trips Tight End is absolutely incredible. If you want to get my full ebook, it is available by joining the patreon but this is something that that boy found that i thought was actually really 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 valuable for someone that's running spinner or someone that's running cover zero man pressure this is a really 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 good setup and you're going to be able to bomb it for a one play touchdown so what you're going to basically do here is if the defense comes out like this this means that they have not base aligned their defense right so what we're going to typically see out of this meta is you're going to see some type of blitzing concept where basically they're going to sit on this guy right here and they're going to send five and man coverage being as sticky as it is being as good as it is if you send five routes out a lot of times you're going to get screamed at and um, it's just a really really good defense this is something that a lot of people will sit in the majority of a game so here's how we can glitch it for a one play touchdown um, again i got this completely from dat boy this was his setup and i just had someone running on me and it's absolutely incredible so uh literally all you're going to do so if you watch this play art you're going to see something so i'm just going to motion this slot receiver right here gauge across and i want you to watch the man coverage play art you're going to see something you see how they flip see that right there so we're going to take advantage of that because in this year's game you can same side motion snap so we're going to get this defense to basically bug out and we don't have to do any routes literally whatever you want to do from a route perspective is up to you what i like to do with this play is i like to drag the inside slot receiver I like to C route this backside receiver, and I love to have this deep corner to the tight end. So we're going to motion this guy in a step or two. We're going to snap as soon as they move. And as you see, this corner route is going to be wide open. Now, if you have a little bit of a faster player, a little bit of a better player there, you're going to be able to bomb this coverage for an absolute laser. Now, another thing you can do, I did want to say this. Another thing you can do is you can actually motion block this guy. So I'm just going to motion this guy in and block him. But I will say, you see here, we do get double covered if we do that. So just something to kind of, you know, keep, you know, just kind of to be aware of. Now, uh, one other thing is I do want to show something else with this. So again, we're going to press. This time we're going to motion snap the circle receiver. And we're just going to basically motion block him just like this. You see that it won't glitch that guy out because he's technically still able to be in man coverage on the tight end so the met the best way to do this is to basically literally do something like this um you could put this guy on a basic drag route you know whatever you want to do but as soon as they move if you watch as soon as they move you snap it you see the man coverage glitches out and now we have a really really nice corner route again if you have a good receiver there that could be a potential touchdown Anyways, that's how you do it. Now, the counter to this is if they are in this alignment, which is base aligned. So if they're in this alignment, this is a base alignment, and this is the main way they can counter that. Now, a way that you can counter this base alignment um, is through utilizing some kind of corner route or something like that to this receiver, and you could basically do the exact same thing, except this time we're going to put him on a corner, and a lot of times he'll be covered by the linebacker. Uh, that they band up on him obviously not that great right there and it does take a little bit more time to get this player open but assuming again that they are you know going to maybe flip this guy on the back as soon as they see motion you know this is something that we can take advantage of so we could do something like this even if we're to max protect but just by motioning this guy in a couple steps snap it right here you see that he is going to glitch that man coverage to the corner
Okay, so that is kind of a way that you can do with man coverage from dollar. It's primarily best against dollar. Nickel's a little bit different in terms of how to glitch that. Uh, but this is a man glitch against dollar, specifically when they're not base aligned, which you will see people running. And this will help you to absolutely annihilate that coverage. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to get my trips tied in ebooks and some of my stuff, the link is down in the description below. I think it's the best offense in the game. And I think it's gonna you're going to continue to see that over the course of the season as we get players that can get better separation against main coverage.